What is going on internet? Lou here, and today I'm bringing you a video request. I had a YouTube subscriber send me a message requesting that I show you guys how to install uh, the Ubuntu operating system font that's used um, by default. Now this font was, uh, this whole project actually was funded by Canonical, and they've created a really beautiful uh, Ubuntu font that has some really nice anti-aliasing. So I'm going to show you guys how to install that. Now, if you want a little cheat sheet and you look down in the video description below, I put a blog post together that shows you guys uh, detailed instructions on how to do this manually. But if you want to do it with me, we're going to get started. So first thing you got to do is we're going to open up a uh, browser window. And you're going to go to this web address. You're going to go to font.ubuntu.com. Now, as you're going to see here, it says that this is the Ubuntu font family. It's a unique custom designed font that has a very distinctive look and feel. Right over here, it has a download option. Just click download. It's only a two megabyte, um, two megabytes in size, so it should be very, very quick. Once that's downloaded, move it from your downloads folder into your home folder. Okay. Now, if you just open up Nautilus, this is your home folder. Move it to the root of that. So it should look a little something like this. You've got your Ubuntu font family zip. All you've got to do here is just extract. Right-click and hit extract. Now, you can rename yours whatever you'd like. I'm going to rename mine Ubuntu. After it's renamed, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a terminal window. And you're going to type the following command. You're going to type sudo cp dash capital R Ubuntu and we're going to put it in user share fonts and then just hit enter it's going to ask you for your password now I am going to uh, turn that off so you don't see my password and there it is now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to that directory and I'll show you that it got copied there. So if you go back to the, your Nautilus window, if it's, if it's still open, go over here in the left hand pane where it says file system. Now go to user, share, and then we're going to go down to fonts. Now you're going to see there it is. There's the Ubuntu font. And there's all the fonts that we need. So what we're going to do now is we want to select that font to use for our system. So we're going to uh, open up GNOME Tweak Tool. So you're going to go uh, open up GNOME Tweak Tool. Now, if you don't have this installed, uh, I did put uh, directions uh, below in the blog post to, uh, on how to install this program. We can go through that now very quickly. All you're going to do to install it, if you don't have it installed already, is sudo yum-y install, and you're going to type GNOME Tweak tool and then hit enter. Now I already have this installed so it's going to basically tell me that there's nothing that I need to do after I type in my password. I just cleaned my cache so it's going to be a little bit slow. Yum uh, just recently got updated so it's actually really really quick. No package available. Nothing to do. Oh you know why? it would help if I spelled it properly. Tweak with an A, not two E's. FYI, in case you guys already, you didn't know how to spell like me. Um, so anyway, it tells me I already have it installed, so we're good to go. All right, so there you go. Now you've got GNOME Tweak Tool installed. All we've got to do now is over here in the left-hand option where it says Fonts, go to Fonts. And let's see here, Default Font. There it is. Click on that. And if you notice, right over here, there's Ubuntu. So let's see, the default font, you know what I'm going to do? Because I actually really like this font. I'm going to, so I don't forget what it is, take a quick, take a quick screenshot of that. Just in case I want to go back to it. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to go to... Ubuntu and we're gonna hit select so there it is there is the uh, the Ubuntu font now is the default font for the system if you want to change that we can try Ubuntu medium we're gonna hit select 
See, that's a little bit too bold for me. There's a Buntu Light, a Buntu Light Italic. We're just going to go with the standard Ubuntu, I think. It probably looks, the, I think it looks the nicest. So there we go. There's the Ubuntu font. You can change the size if you'd like. And uh, that is it. Not very hard. Pretty easy. So we got the Ubuntu font in there with uh, all of its nice anti-aliasing features. And uh, looks great. So that's it. That's going to conclude this video on how to install the Ubuntu font in Fedora. Once again, check the video description below for a blog post with detailed instructions on how to do this. Uh, also, my social media contacts are down there. Follow me on Twitter. That's the very best way to keep up with whatever it is that I'm doing. If I've got an idea for a video, if I want to ask you guys on uh, certain questions, on some feedback and whatnot, I'm going to probably do that on Twitter. So, um, Follow me on Twitter, at Oh Hey It's Lou, same as my YouTube channel. And until next time, Internet, we will see you later.